Hello and welcome to Wageningen University and Research. I'm Lizzie and in this video I am joined by two people from the Masters of Climate Studies. So let's start off with some brief introductions. Hello, my name is Mario Lexmond. I'm a study advisor of amongst others the Climate Studies program. Hi, I'm Siatwinda Mavele Siatwinda from Zambia and I'm studying Climate Studies. So in this video, we are going to provide you with some more information about the Masters of Climate Studies. So to begin with, can you please just explain a bit more about the program? Of course. Climate Studies is about the most challenging topic of nowadays, the climate change. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like to improve the knowledge of our students, uh, not only on the causes and the mechanisms, but also on the consequences. Mm -hmm. And in addition, we would like to elaborate more on the socio-economic responses, like adaptation, yeah, so to cope with the, the mm -hmm. effects, but also the mitigation, so how to reduce or limit the effects. We will do this uh, via three different perspectives in the science. So we have earth science, we have life science, and we have society, so social sciences. Mm -hmm. now, from earth science, we consider, for instance, rain, uh, yeah. uh, temperature, ice, etc. And from life sciences, we have uh, biota, we have biodiversity, ecosystems, agriculture, but also land and water. And from social uh, perspective, we consider, of course, the influence of the mm -hmm. human beings on this. And why did you choose this program? Well, I was looking for a master program that uh, integrated the natural science aspect of climate change and the social economic implications thereof. And I looked at quite a number of programs and I believe the Wachengen Master's Climate Studies is was the best fit for what I was looking for. And so what specialisations are available in the programme? There are five specialisations. The physical climate system, mm -hmm. biogeochemical cycles, ecological and agroecological systems, human environment interactions, and climate society and economics. And they all have a, their own sp a place in this triangle of earth, life and society. Uh, and that makes them unique, of course. Within these specialisations, there are 11 thesis tracks, mm -hmm. and they are listed here because some of these uh, tracks can be studied via different specialisations. For instance, the specialisation, uh, the physical climate system, is about uh, the physical climate, as mm -hmm. it says, so meteorology, air quality and hydrology. The second uh, specialisation is on biogeochemical cycles, including, of course, water, air and soil. The third, ecological and agroecological systems focuses more on the green part, the biology, so soil biology, water systems, crop and weed ecology, but also plant ecology and nature conservation. And the fourth specialization is human environment interactions, in which the water system and global change and environmental systems analysis uh, are the tracks. And the final specialization is the climate society and economics, considered from the economics or the policy perspective. And do students need to know what specialisation they want to do upon enrolment? No, they don't have to select this already. Of course, we would like to encourage students or the prospective students to seriously think about what they want to achieve because the better you have uh, yeah. given this a thought, the more you can tailor your program. Mm. And what courses are offered in the program? Now, actually, there are many. Uh, and to give you an example, because uh, each specialisation has their own courses, of course. Mm -hmm. So this is the specialization of biogeochemical cycles and then the track air quality and atmospheric chemistry. Now we start of course with the introduction to global change and then uh, in the afternoon the students have to choose a course based on their background. So a natural science oriented student mm -hmm. needs to do the more social scientific yeah. principles course. Um, now we uh, continue with a, uh, uh, the design of climate change mitigation and adaptation mm -hmm. strategies course. And of course, students need to do an internship yeah. unless they have already quite some relevant working okay. experience because then they can exchange the internship for the minor thesis. Mm -hmm. Now, apart from these courses, uh, so compulsory unless advised otherwise, so depending on your background a bit, we have courses that are really compulsory for mm -hmm. this track, yeah. this specialization, and that's biogeochemical cycles and of course the thesis in air quality and atmospheric chemistry in this example. Mm -hmm. Now then there uh, are quite some courses yeah. that fill basically the rest of the program, but you only have to select two at mm -hmm. least. Now in this example, uh, the students selected three and that means that there are two periods basically, so two courses that are freely uh, to be chosen based on the interest of the student. Excellent, lots of flexibility. There's lots of flexibility indeed.
And so in your first year, what was the most exciting course that you've done? Uh, the most exciting course was uh, the design of climate change mitigation and adaptation strategies, mm -hmm. mainly because you had to work with uh, a real client from uh, outside Washington, and then you, ha you work with a team of about four students, and you really apply what you've learned from all the other courses, so you kind of uh, integrate all that you've learned throughout the year towards mm -hmm. the project, and you get to meet other people with different backgrounds and cultures, so it's quite amazing. Yeah. And what did you do in your second year? Well, as Martin mentioned earlier on, um, based on your background, based on my background, I had an opportunity to switch my internship for uh, a minor thesis. Therefore, I did two theses, a major thesis uh, with a topic assessing the impacts of agricultural management and food consumption on the carbon, nitrogen and phosphorus flows mm -hmm. with an integrated model. And for my minor thesis, I worked on uh, modeling the effects of climate change on the maize yields in my country, Zambia. Excellent. And so on to the general admissions process. What are some typical bachelor's degrees or background knowledge that is required? Well, as the climate studies uh, program uh, considers three science domains, earth, life and society, it's obvious that you can have uh, an admission when you have one of these domains mm -hmm. in your background. Eh? So, for instance, biology or earth sciences or economics. And what are some typical jobs that graduates of this program end up with? Uh, now, well, there's quite something to uh, still discover in uh, the topic of climate change. Yeah. So, researchers are uh, quite abundantly yeah. uh, <laughs> expected in our, under our graduates. So, if you do a PhD at a university or become a researcher, or a teacher, mm -hmm. but also in the government, we find quite some uh, room for our graduates, and like in consultancies, mm -hmm. but also in insurance companies and banking. Yeah, and are there opportunities for both Dutch and international students? Yeah, now you know, climate uh, science and uh, climate change is uh, something that is uh, um, taking place all over the world, and uh, in all areas, there's a huge need of our scientists. Yeah. So at this university, there are also the Masters of Earth and Environment, as well as the Masters of Environmental Sciences. So what are the differences between those Masters and this Masters of Climate Studies? Uh, no, there is a serious difference indeed. Earth and Environment is a natural scientific program, so just covering the natural sciences and not just focus on climate, as mm -hmm. climate studies is. And um, environmental sciences is also broad, yeah, yeah. so also covering natural and social sciences, yeah. but then not focusing yeah. on climate. Yeah. So then the, that's basically the difference. Okay, so it's a bit more specific. The, the climate is a really a thematic program. Yeah. yeah. And so, as an international student, what is it like to study here? Well, apart from the weather shock <laughs> in the first two weeks, I guess uh, it's been an amazing uh, study. Uh, in the Netherlands, generally, there's a lot to see, a mm -hmm. lot of adventure. And at Wageningen University, uh, the lecturers on uh, an informal and an, and a formal level, the interaction is quite good. Mm -hmm. And they work towards helping you achieve what you want to achieve while you're here. And in terms of extracurricular activities, there are quite a, a, a lot of diverse activities you could take up. For instance, annually we have the African Night, where African countries showcase their different culture and diversity. And in uh, annually we also have uh, the One World Week during which all countries uh, that can be represented around the globe come together and show showcase their diversity. So it's really amazing. Excellent, yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining me today and answering these questions. Sadly, that's all we have time for, but I hope that we provided you with some more information about the Masters of Climate Studies here at Bargaining University. If you have additional questions regarding the general admissions process or would like to book a Skype interview, then please email us at students at ver.nl. In addition, I would encourage you to check out the video called Essentials for Studying at Wageningen University, which provides some more background information. Thank you very much for watching, and we will hopefully see you here in the future at Wageningen University.